Hi, my name is Pranima Kumar. I am a professor of periodontics at the University of Michigan. I am the chair of the Department of Periodontics and Oral Medicine. The most rewarding thing about my work is that I can take my research findings and translate them to my patient almost directly. And the other very interesting thing for me is that my research questions come from my patients themselves. Every time I look at a patient and say, you're doing the best you can and I'm doing the best I can for you and somehow something's not working, so where's the gap? I can go and fill that gap using my research. So it's a one-to-one -one translation. The mouth is the gateway to the body. Protecting your mouth is integral to making sure the rest of your body is healthy. When you think about the mouth, we think about the mouth, right? But it's actually a real estate the size of your palm. And unlike your palm, that entire real estate has a bed of blood vessels that underlie it. It's a highly vascular area and it's, it's a great system. You can drink a glass of water, you can kiss 15 different partners, you can eat food in 15, 20 different continents and nothing happens to you. It's a juggernaut. It's a system that's designed to be stable, to live its best life. But when this mucosa starts getting inflamed, it opens up the blood vessels. And so bacteria can creep into the spaces between your mucosa lining and easily enter your blood vessels and therefore enter your bloodstream. So keeping your mouth inflammation free is one way of making sure that bacteria don't breach that barrier. And, and I'm most excited about our latest data that we did with collaborators in Turkey, where we learned that bacteria from the mouth travel via the bloodstream to your placenta. And in the placenta, the type of um, immune response that these bacteria trigger can cause adverse pregnancy outcomes. There are women who get preeclampsia, that is their blood pressure shoots up. There are women who deliver preterm, and that can be traced back to the bacteria that are present in their mouths. We went into this thinking, we're studying smoking for 20 years now, vaping is a new kid on the block, and we thought we might just find that smoking and vaping are, are similar. But no, we're finding that vaping is the greater of the two evils. It causes more damage to your mouth, and it causes it quicker. The changes that I see in a vapor who's been using e-cigarettes for six months is very similar to what I'm seeing in a smoker who's been smoking for five years. When you look at people who vape, they produce this giant white cloud. That comes from the vehicle, which is either propylene glycol or vegetable glycerol, or a combination of the two. They are giant complex carbon molecules. And when bacteria see these, they want to break them down into little bites. And that, they use that as an energy source. And in response to having so much nutrient, dense nutrient rich, they produce different types of genes in their body. So it changes how these bacteria actually interact with our human immune system, and that changes what happens in the mouth. We suspect that there's going to be a completely new class of disease that's going to come out in the future for these people. We're finding, incidentally, that people who vape have more gum disease, more gum bleeding, more caries, they have more cavities in their mouth. All the products from vaping also thins out the lining of our mouth, so it makes it more um, susceptible to, to disease and injury. This is going to be my first in-person FDI conference. I'm looking forward to meeting colleagues, attending some of those exciting sessions that I've seen on the program, and catching a little bit of the countryside and learning more about Australia. Continuing education is really, really, really critical in everything we do. Knowledge as we know it is, is evolving. And especially now in the digital age, things are rapidly, rapidly growing and we have to keep pace to provide the best care for our patients. I mean, I couldn't even tell you what I'm gonna talk about because by September, there's gonna be so much more new information. I can tell you it's gonna be absolutely the latest discoveries that we're making in this field.